diamonds and designer rings. Buy direct the jewelry exchange Bethesda. I'm Ellen Bryan, and I have your traffic every weekday morning on WUSA 9. The wait may soon be over to determine the winners of Maryland's primary elections. Today, thousands of provisional ballots are being counted at the Board of Elections in Montgomery County. We've been telling you about a computer glitch at the MVA's website and kiosks last year. It caused the process of the voter registration information to fail. Now, here's why this matters. There are several races, including the Montgomery County Executive's race, that so far are too close to call. Those ballots will determine the winner. We could, could have unofficial results as early as tomorrow night. All right, file this next story under what in the heck is wrong with people? If somebody wants to wear a Make America Great Again hat or outfit or conversely show their support for another political party, that doesn't mean that you should go and try to rile them up and start some crap in person. Viral video posted to Facebook showing another example of this divide in our country. A woman claims a man got angry at her teenage son and his friends because one of them was wearing what appears to be a Make America Great Again hat. They're not out there wearing this stuff to make you mad. They're wearing this stuff because that's what they support. A witness to the attack says he and his family saw the three teens in the video joking about hanging blacks and killing minorities before the recorded attack occurred. Now, the video was taken at a San Antonio area Whataburger. Police are investigating. The video has been viewed more than two million times. Just knock it off. So the woman who climbed up the base of the Statue of Liberty on the 4th of July has pleaded not guilty to charges of trespassing, disorderly conduct, and interfering with government agency functions. And she got a hero's applause as she was coming out of court there. Therese Komau told police she scaled the statue to protest the separation of immigrant families who crossed the U.S. border illegally. She's an immigrant from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. She scaled the more than 20 feet up the observation deck, up the stone pedestal. Officials at the Statue of Liberty say no one's ever tried that before. If convicted, she faces up to six months behind bars on each count. So the government's trying a new way to reunite migrant families separated at the border. DNA testing is being done on people who cross the border illegally. The Department of Health and Human Services say the process is done through cheek swabs, but there are two things that aren't known, how the DNA is being stored and if this kind of testing requires consent. So last month, a judge ordered the more than 2,000 kids separated from their parents be reunited by July 26th. Part of that ruling also requires that all kids under five be reunited with their parents by July 10th. And by tomorrow, July 6th, all kids must have a way to be in contact with their parents. You got about two more minutes to vote in our poll. Do you think it's okay to approach a public official in a restaurant? Let us know, WSA9.com slash vote or our news app. More on the results in the complete tally after the break. couples bring in the fireworks. Ready? J-Lo and A-Rod's road trip, Jessica and Justin's dance-off, plus inside Mariah's Red Hot Vegas rehearsals. Next ET. Tonight at 7.30 on WUSA 9. At Volkswagen, we love seeing that it's got App Connect and third row standard kind of smile. And that I'm driving an award-winning SUV with America's best bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty smile. And yeah, even that you've got awesome taste kind of smile. The Volkswagen Tiguan and Atlas. Plenty to smile about. Hurry in this 4th of July and lease a new 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan S for just $179 a month. Visit VWDealer.com today. When we move with DSL, we experience the law of internet slow zones. So we switch to Cox. Their law of moving states that Cox has the same fast speeds everywhere, which you can enjoy after a day of dealing with other laws of science, like gravity, opposing forces, and uh, laws of attraction? Ew, it's romantic. Only Cox offers the same fast 300 meg speeds everywhere.